Adam Hayes here with yakangler.com. We're here with Thomas from Diablo Paddle Sports. We're here at Outdoor Retailer. Thomas, man, we haven't talked to you in a little while. Just tell us what's been going on with you guys. It's been pretty busy. We launched the Amigo about a year ago. It's been going over real well. So we've gone ahead and uh, expanded on our colorings. This is uh, the red, black, and sand mix. We call it Lubbock. And then we've got our dark olive, and we also came out with an orange to complement the uh, sand and red that we were already producing. So we're looking at a prototype here, so it's, it's not available yet. This is pretty freaking sweet. You guys are going to sell potentially a Sea Deck package. Yes. It, uh, the olive boats are in stock, but uh, we got together with Sea Deck uh, around iCast and went ahead and had a prototype kit made. There may be some modifications, but this is the main layout that you're going to get. Color and exact piecing is going to be a variable as well as the cost, but we should have that out very shortly. It's sexy, brother. I appreciate it. Tell you. Appreciate a couple it. other things, man, that I haven't seen before. One is this standing platform or cooler platform. Tell us a little bit about that. We, after about the third or fourth call in a week on people wanting to sit on their coolers, then uh, I almost told somebody to how to do it, and I was like, you know what, coming back in two weeks, we came out with the Diablo deck. This basically can work a couple of different ways. With your cooler on top, it allows you a nice elevated position, and it's easy to stand up and sit down very easily. We've got the uh, new cooler chair on there that gives you good back support, but also if you get into the wind, then you can go ahead and pop the jetty in the back and drop that straight down to deck level, and then you can paddle into the wind. Another feature that our guys in Florida really liking is that you can stand on this and your weight is distributed as if you were sitting, so it makes it easier to stand up and pull from. Nice, man. For the fly fishermen out there, we went ahead and launched a uh, elevated fly bucket. It's got a little bit of give back and forth. You can adjust it to, to miss the trees. But what I really like about it is as far as sight fishing and sight casting, you can leave your line loaded in the bottom, hook your fly into the side, and then when you do see fish, you do see cover. We've been using the G hooks for a silent set down, and then you're reached straight up, one fluid motion, you're right on the fish. Well, dude, it all looks great. I'm sorry it's been so long since we caught up. No, it's good to see you, brother. Appreciate y'all coming by.